joking. Ebony, how are you? <laughs> well, I'm good, so thank Ebony. you. How's your, how's your shoulder? You. How's your shoulder? My shoulder's good. It's getting better. Um, I'm able to start doing a little bit of shadow this week. So um, that's good because I'm being able to punch with it. Just no, no impact. Um, and I did a little bit just before. And um, it's hard not to just want to go for it. So yeah. um, I've got to have so much discipline, um, so much dis- discipline because I'm like, like it's not really hurting, like a little bit where it's aching, but it's not like that sharp pain that's been over the last few weeks where I haven't really wanted to do anything with it. Like it's feeling pretty good unless I'm doing certain actions or I'm putting it yeah. in certain positions. So, um, but, yeah, obviously I can't just go, okay, cool, like let's just go hard because it's, it's in that. It's in that stage where it's like I could probably fuck it up again. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. It's hard. It's hard. But I've been doing my, my right hand, a bit of my right hand and stuff. So, um, yeah. Ebbs, Ebbs, how long do you think it will be till you um, get better and you can fight again? Oh, well, it just depends on what kind of fight. <laughs> you uh, know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I won't be able to probably start camp and sparring until, like, Christmas, January. Because okay. I won't be able to start sparring and... I have to first, obviously, I'm starting shadow this week and low impact. Then maybe next week yeah. a little bit harder on the pads. Okay. And then maybe a bit, and then maybe a bit harder again on the pads. Mm-hmm. Um, and that will be like a couple of weeks, you know. And then, okay, now I can put it into those risky kind of, not risky, but that, you know, with, with sparring, it's a lot more, as you know, it's a lot more, um, it's yeah. not con- as controlled, you know. And unfortunately, I spar bigger people. The people that I spar are all, 10, 20 pounds heavy, 30 pounds heavier than me. So when I'm punching them, like, you know, like it's a lot of strain and a lot of stress on my shoulder um, because they're heavy, you know. Um, and um, I feel like personally I would love to, like, get inspiring with some smaller girls or girls my size, but it's really hard for me <laughs> to find girls. Small steps, though, isn't it? Small steps. Yeah, small steps. yeah. Small steps. Like, you know, um, you, how, long, um, how long was your operation? I didn't have an operation. You didn't have an operation. operation. Oh, okay. I thought you did. No, I just needed. Um, it was. A, I just tore. Oh, you won't be able to see it. Yeah, but I, 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 I tore the ligament that holds my AC joint down. So it's like this: your shoulder, your clavicle, your your what's that called, collarbone, into yeah, your yeah. shoulder, and it's supposed to be like this. Um, but I tore a ligament, so now it's like this. So you can actually feel, and you can you can see it. Um, my bones just pop. It's popped up on that side. Um. Mm. But um, if it was, it was just one ligament. If it was all the ligaments around, then it probably would have been a dislocation, or it would have been completely, um, like it would have been like a grade three um, separation, which would have needed surgery. But the doctor pretty much said six to eight weeks, and it will be hundred percent again. And it's been like five weeks, so I mean, it's pretty that's much good. on track of what the doctor said. That's so oh, um, the first couple of the first couple of weeks are really hard, um, obviously really painful, but now it's getting better. And like I said, that's got to be smart getting back into it and not really rush as much as I want to rush. That's no, not no, fucking no, no, smart no, no, because um no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. yeah I don't want to do like I don't want to do like you know long term isn't yeah yeah I don't want to do you know one step forward two steps back that's no, fucking no, no, you know no, no. and and I do and I do do that all the time so I'm trying to just be smart like I mean that's the fighter in you though isn't it that's the fighter and the competitive exactly you, yeah and... definitely like you know um and I feel like I've just wasted not wasted I haven't wasted this year but I'm like I just want to fight obviously. But I mean, there's no point in me rushing into it. Um, what's another? Literally, it, it's the d- difference between two two weeks, maybe two or three weeks. Um, yeah. For uh, you know, like I've been thinking, and you know, I could probably do a fight. Like if I start camp like Christmas, New Year's, and I start sparring around Christmas, New Year's, I could probably get ready for like a little six round fight. You know, um, you know, in here in Australia, or I mean. <laughs> could do it in in UK but here in Australia like just a small fight to get me back from get me back from injury I've had a year off you know what I mean get the dust off a little bit um and and I could probably do that and get ready for that in about four like five six weeks so Um, that's uh, that's the plan for you then is it is that no no I'm just I have no idea I just I have to talk to Matt I have to yeah I have to talk to Matt Truman and Eddie because I don't know when he plans to fight me and Rachel you know if he says okay let's do you and Rachel in March then I can do that but if he says let's do do it end of January, beginning of beginning of February, I'm not going to do a four week camp no, for a ten no, round no, no, fight. No, no, no. Is no. that something what's going to definitely happen? Then will you and Rachel Bob be fighting? Is that a definite? Well, yes. it's not signed on. I don't have the contract. For, I don't have a new contract for the fight. But I mean, 
if anyone's a man of his word, like I keep saying, then yeah, it seems it's got to happen because you, yeah, not being funny over here, it was probably the most hyped and everything card, uh, fight on the card, so it's got to happen, you know, no, yeah, I mean, I agree, and. And yeah. to be honest, like I've, I've spoke to Rachel and Rachel's, um, you know, team, you know, as you know, we're friends, me and Rach and, um, you know, she, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and, and even her trainer, he's awesome. I love Gav. And, yeah. you know, they generally want to honor the fight and they know that if it was the other way around, I would be the same. I'd be like, no, fucking yeah. Rachel deserves her shot. Just like Ebony deserves, like it's not her fault. She had an injury. Um, you know, like we should honor that. Um, because I mean, maybe it is because we're friends and we think like, well, fuck, like, you know, you're like, why not? You know, like, and why does she, I mean, realistically, she, why should she fight Shannon again? What? So she gets robbed, probably. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. let's be honest. That's I feel yeah. like that's the plan. They're gonna set her up to get robbed. Like, I just see mm-hmm. that happening. Like, she has to win so decisively to yeah. to win that rematch yeah. because I just see it gonna be a, it's gonna backfire. Um, um, and and I'm worried that I suppose if they fight, and then it's like, oh, I fight the winner, then I go to SCE. And then I miss Rachel, and I, I'd love to share the ring with Rachel, you know. So I don't know. Yeah, so I was going to say, um, you know, I don't want to be negative or anything, but let's just say it was shirked and 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 it's not honoured. You know, what are the yeah. other options for you? I mean, have you thought about what those options look like? Oh, you mean like UK or just in general? In 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 general. So if the, if the Rachel Ball fight is renegaded, you know. Yeah. What does that look like for you in terms of who can I fight instead, or do I have to take someone instead in the meantime just to, yeah, you know, wait for that? I oh, definitely, I def, yeah, I'm not, I don't fucking wait on no one, like, I'm not fucking waiting. Like, no, I, no, I definitely, you. yeah, I definitely don't put all my eggs in my in one basket. I'm already working on things <laughs> now. I haven't spoke to Matt Shroom, I haven't spoke to Eddie, I haven't really even spoke to my manager about it, but I've already got plans in my head because I'm not, I don't waiting on no shit like you can't trust no one you can't believe anyone you can't put all your eggs in your basket because because i've been disappointed let down that many times i've had i have about three options three i uh not not options because i haven't spoke to them i've got to speak to a promoter here i've got three ideas of suitable girls that would be good for me um here um i've got a girl that's seven and uh seven and one six ko's that i'd like to fight um there's a girl um she's three and three but she comes to fight she's really aggressive um and there's another girl, I think she's three and one. Um, these are some like girls in Australia that I could probably fight that are similar records, you know what I mean? That um yeah. that would be good like kind of fights, um competitive fights, but um, um good for me here in Australia. Um and then we've got again here in Australia, you got we got the next tier. But the problem is is these girls that are like more experienced, they really have nothing to offer me. Like they don't have money to offer me, they don't have exposure to offer me, they don't have a name to offer me. Like it's just why should I be fighting girls? With and I get enough. All they they get me, they get everything from me. You know, yeah, like yeah, I, I don't. Yeah. I, you know, this is my career. Like, why am I? You know, I spent so much money on my career already so far. You have no idea. Yeah, like these, that. these girls. Like you know, like my first fights cost me all up, like nearly nine grand. I had to pay for my opponents. I had to pay for my opponents. I had to pay for their purse, their their flights to Australia, their team's flights, their food, their accommodation, their food allowance, their um, bloods, their registrations. I'd pay for everything. And then these girls want to fight me for for what for for it's nothing. Like cash cow, isn't it? You're like the cash cow. I know. So with yeah, that exactly. And that's exactly. Shit. It's a shitty yeah, business. It's a shitty it, business. Yeah. You know it, what I mean? It is, but but at the same time, I mean, it's good for me. Yeah. Because but... Real, let's be but let's be realistic here. Um, is that it, having that? There's there's good and bad to that. Um, no, no one in Australia is getting noticed by a matchroom. There's, there's no one that's gonna exactly. offer, that's gonna get yeah, exactly. gonna get paid the amount of money that I was gonna get paid um, fighting Matchroom here in Australia. No one name other females in Australia besides Susie Q because she's been around for like twenty years. Yeah, same, same, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like how yeah. many do you know? You, you know what I mean? And there's, I've only no. been a pro for two years, but you guys know me. What about the other girls that have been around for five, ten years? There's 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 a few. You don't know yeah. them. You know what I mean? No. So yeah. I, Never I heard mean, of it. and neither does. And neither does Eddie, and neither does Matrim, and neither does anyone else in fucking America. You know, because because then, like, do you know what I mean? Let's be real. Yeah, no, I mean. So you know, so I and I just think with with the following that I have, the fans, they won't fucking leave Eddie alone. They won't leave Matrim alone. Um, you're, you're so massive, he would real. be. So yeah. let's be honest. Like, yeah. let's be honest. Eddie's not dumb. He's pretty smart. You know what I mean? He wants to make money. So I think he knows that he's going to make money from it either way. You know, yeah. I know he's gonna. He's probably gonna. He's thinking he's gonna take a risk because he probably hasn't seen me fight. Like he's seen some highlights. There's not much up there about me, 
Um, you know, like you guys have seen me spying because I send you stuff, yeah. but people haven't seen it. You know, he hasn't seen it, so it's still a risk for him. But he's taking that risk because of because of the following that I have. Wait until people see me fight. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I just I just am so confident that I. I'm so confident that I'm meant to be fighting in the UK. I, I'm, I've visualised it. I've, I've manifested it. It's, it's going to happen because everything I say and everything I say I'm going to do, it's going to yeah. happen. So I know it's going to happen. So, I mean, but in that time, I'm, I still don't want to wait around. You know, no, no, I still yeah. want to keep my options open. I'd be happy to go to fight in America for for a, a warm-up or a or keep busy fight um, before these girls. I don't even know if Eddie wants to let me risk because he, he doesn't know how to fight. He doesn't know really. Does he want to risk me going and having a fight before that fight? Because if I lose, it could ruin everything. Is, is, is America you know I mean? an, op- uh, an option for yeah. you then? Yeah, everywhere's an option. I'll go to fucking Europe. I don't care. Yeah, look at yeah, the, I don't look care. The following, look at the following my, Come on. Yeah, look, my managers, are in, my managers are in America, so they've got heaps of hookups in America. The only reason I'm going to to the UK is because I want to fight for my fans and I want to fight, you know, like I want to be over there. Um, but I'm happy to go to, to, go to the the US. Um, I get more money in the US than I do in Australia. My last yeah. fight in the US was I got paid I'm more a, than all my fights put together. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah. Alex, would you would you like to have a warm up fight before you have this uh, world title fight, or will you have this world title fight? What would you rather? Would you like to have a warm up fight before you have this world title fight? Are you just, gonna go um, I'm I'm not fussed. Like for example, if if the fight was in March and I could literally start my camp in, in, in you know, um, end of December, January, and just pump it out for, like, Rachel, then mm-hmm. I, would I need to warm up. But if it's going to okay. be dragged out to, yeah. like, you know, um, April, May, then, then yeah, I'll, why not? I have time to do a warm-up because I can start getting yeah. ready d- Christmas, January, so why waste that time not fighting? Yeah. In, you in March, when like, you're thinking you're going to fight next, then? It depends. In your, in your mind. Oh, I can fight in February for a small. I can fight in February for probably a six, four or six rounder. I could do that because, as you know, um, you know, for me to get ready for a four to six rounder, I'm I'm not sp- I'm not putting that much load on my body or that much um, volume training. For for a ten round fight, I'm I'm sparring ten to fifteen rounds three times a day a week. Mm-hmm. Like you know how many rounds of sparring that is. Like that's a lot coming back from injury and to rush into yeah, a yeah, fight yeah, yeah. in February. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. So you know, for me to, be, I'm gonna have to build up to that, and that would take me two two March or, or you know whatever to get that. But if I was to work on say a smaller fight, like a four rounder or a six rounder, um, before that it could be like a midway point. That's like my warm up, and then I keep going from there to get ready for the ten round fight in like four to six weeks after. Like I mean. Like, that's how it could work. Like, this is just my thinking. I haven't even talked to anyone about it, but, you know, this is what I think. Um, so who knows? Like, I, I um, it's, it just all depends on timing. And and unfortunately, I'm not the promoter. I'm not the one putting on fights. Um, so it all just depends on that, you know. I'm not the, really the one 100% calling the shots. For me, I'll make the, I'll, I'll make the decision with my team um, after I've told them my thoughts when I get a date of an, a possibility of a fight of that Rachel Ball fight or whatever. Once I know that the, the plans for that fight or that date, then I can go, okay, let's see what we're going to do. Ed, so I was going to say to you, um, obviously, if the Rachel Ball fight is the one that happens, do you see yourself basing yourself in the UK for, for, for the sort of medium to long term, given the number of other opponents that are in that division that you could probably fight? I mean, I'd like to. It's something I probably have to talk to, um, you know, my managers and that about, and, and Eddie. Um, you know, I would, I would definitely stay if I was to say I fight Rachel and I'll win, and then he wants to do what he's been doing, um, fighting the girls every eight weeks. Then why should I just silly coming home during quarantine, coming back and forth? It's stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, think it doesn't make any sense. You've got yeah, to think, of you. You've got to think of you at the end of the day. You've got to think about you, what you, what you want out of it. You know, you're. Even yeah, even exactly. Finances and stuff like that. Yeah, know. yeah. I mean, I need to be support. I need to have the financial support, um, one hundred percent. But um, I mean, if it's not he, like, if it's gonna be something like that, like an eight week turnaround, like it seems to be do, he seems to be doing eight to twelve week, mm-hmm. ten eight, between that. I mean, twelve weeks. Like, I come home for two weeks in quarantine, which is fucked. Then back into camp again, you know. I might as well just go jet to back to America. And, yeah, yeah, jet lag and all that. Yeah, stuff. I mean, I could I could go to America and my, it's not that far away from the UK, America. Um, I can stay there. Um, I got my camp there. Um, I've had some thoughts about um, 
doing camp in, in the UK, but in saying that, I'd like to check out gyms and talk to some trainers while I'm there. I, I feel like the best way to do that is by being there. Um, you could do what Shannon Briggs done. You could do what Shannon Briggs done. He come over here and he, he was basically selling himself. Not like that, but you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what i that's exactly what i did um in america and that's how i got signed with the american managers and how i had a fight in america in february because i went over there i was over there for all the big fights i kept going back and forth for four days five days at a time i think we, we spoke you know? before you were a bit of a backpacker over there weren't you going to the yeah, fight like and, um, yeah yeah i go to the fights like i'll go i'll literally that. fly I literally fly 17, 26 hours to America, stay, stay for three, four days and come home. I'd be in a flight, in a plane longer than I was like, at, like in on land, I but it's that. all for business. It's, it's networking. Yeah, yeah, I'm going yeah, there to put yeah. my face out there, yeah, get yeah. interviews, yeah. get interviews with Fight Hub, get interviews with Ellie Secback, get interviews with people um, to get my name. Like, I mean, this shit is, it doesn't, I'm not here and I'm not known because I sit back and, and do nothing and because I've got tits. I'm fucking there because I put my face out. You know what I mean? Like, right. Seriously, though. It's true. Like, there's plenty of plenty of other people that, that put their tits out and they aren't where I am, that's for sure. Don't worry about all that. I, I think you should come over here and turn up at uh, Shannon Courtney's gym. Let's go, Yeah, Shan. I should. Yeah, yeah let's say we should spa. Yeah, I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to hurt her and finish her career before she fights me. I need to make some money off her. Yeah, right and all. Right and all. I, think, I, think, I think Shannon Briggs is still making money off the Klitschko. Yeah, for sure. And David Hay. And David Hay. <laughs> no, right. honestly, I, 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 I would like... I, right and all. Sorry? Yeah, no, like saying, I want right to... I I, you know, the problem is COVID. If it wasn't for COVID, I would have been to the UK three times by now I'm back. Easy. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Because it's easy for me to, to buy a ticket. Like, I don't care about money. Like, I mean, I, I'll spend money to come over. I don't care what's what's $1,000, $2,000 to me now. Like, it means nothing to me. In, in five years, I'm not going to look back and go, we shouldn't spend that $2,000. Like, I don't care. I'll just go over there and do what i got to do. You've got to live that's once, all, you know what I mean? Money, that, that's all the money you've been making off the socks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just sell that's a pair of socks. Is. I'll home deliver it, I'll, like, when I come to the UK. No, but yeah. seriously, though, um, you know, like, for me, I would be doing that, but unfortunately, I can't leave Australia unless I have a valid reason. And then I've got to do the, um, and then I've got to do the the quarantine and stuff. So yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. unfortunately, because of COVID, oh, it makes it a lot more difficult. I would yeah. have already fucking gone to the UK and done a tour. I mean, I would have even like this fight that I was supposed to have. My plans were to go around the UK and visit gyms and visit areas. But oh, it was in. <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? The funny thing is, is you guys went into lockdown like five days oh. or something before the fight or whatever it was. So that wouldn't have even happened. So nothing would have gone to plan very much. So, I mean, everything happens for a reason. And, exactly. And, um, and I believe that when I get there, when I get there, it's going to be for the, it's going to be perfect timing because there's going to be crowds and I'm going to be able to go around. I'm going to be able to meet and greet or go to the gyms and, and do gyms and have people come and watch me train or spa and, and, and do face-to-face -face interviews and the things that, you know, I want to be doing, um, yeah. you know, to build, to build better. Um, so, but, I mean, yeah. I mean, is that you over there right now? The uh, coronavirus, is it really strict like it is in the UK? Because COVID, oh, we're rubbish COVID, sod the COVID. We don't have, yeah. uh, we practically have no COVID. Australia is pretty much zero COVID at the moment. I think we're getting like two ca new cases a day um, oh, if that, okay. in the whole country. Yeah. So there's, there's nothing. I think the only thing, um, the only thing we got at the moment, yeah, the only regulations that we have at the moment is um, we can't leave the country. And um, I think there's still a couple of state borders closed. I think Queensland still got their border closed, so you can't go interstate. But um, other than that, I mean, you just, it's, it's pretty normal. Um, oh, well, everyone's good. obviously everyone's obviously sanitizing everything like that. And we got we got social distancing yeah. signs and social distancing <laughs> stuff everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And actually people I mean here in Australia, people here in Australia listen to so social distancing. Like in the, in America, it's non existent. In America, they just don't give a fuck. Like you literally here as well. Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> they don't, don't give a fuck. Like all they care about, all they do is wear a mask and they think that wearing the mandatory mask is gonna is, 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 a, is a thing for COVID, but they're getting 200,000 new cases a day. It takes more than a mask. These guys got to fucking wash your hands and stay the fuck away from each other. Like, not have riots. 
and fucking little meetings and, and, you know, whatever the fuck they do. Like, I mean, it's just crazy. Like, when I went to America, I was like, okay, like, like the indie gym, you're in the gym. Everyone's on a treadmill running with masks on and doing weights with masks on. No one has fucking towels. No one's wiping their shit. No one's staying away from each other. Like, I'm like, what's the fucking point? No, no, that's right. Why am I wearing this mask, breathing in CO2? When you're sweating your shit all over me and not even cleaning it, like what's the like? It's, it's, I mean, it just it, it just it just makes sense to why there are two hundred thousand new cases a day. Like, I mean, it's it's a, whatever. I, I mean, that's a big country. exactly whatever. Enough of yeah, that. I, you, 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 I want to I, ask you, Ebs, why yeah. Leeds United? Why Leeds United? Sorry to cut you off. Why Leeds United? Because I think uh, it, well, there's a few reasons to be honest. Um. Firstly, the fans. When I put the, the vote out and and I um and I asked and I made that banter and the joke about it all, the Leeds fans came out like fucking like an army, like a That's fucking true. army. Like all I saw was blue was blue and yellow hearts all over my timeline. Like just tweeting and like supporting their team and saying you got to follow Leeds and Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. And I'm like, no other teams. Like there was some people not like Leeds. Like Leeds was like in my face, and it's like. Look at these guys, how loyal they are and how vocal they are for their team. I thought, wow, they've got some real support. And then I started looking into it, Leeds more, obviously. And, and I knew Leeds is quite popular in Australia because of... Um, Harry Kuehl. What's his name? Yeah, Kuehl and... Um, v- v- um, Viduka. V- Viduka. V- v- yeah. V- Viduka. So he, it, 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 yeah. Ebs, Ebs, say Viduka 10 times in a row as quickly as you can. Viduka, 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 Viduka. Sorry, not now. Shut up. Steve's a very corny jokes. But on, <laughs> but no, but honestly, um, because that, and I just thought, and plus that, that, that name they got, the bad the kind of rep, and and I thought these guys are like the underdogs, like everyone fucking hates them, but they're just real kind of people, like, and I'm like these, and I'm seeing them, uh, like these are my, these are my people, like you know, like everyone hates them, and they're gonna prove everyone wrong, and they are fucking proving people wrong because they're smash, yeah. like beating people so, uh, that they should not be beating. So you are a big fan, a football fan, are you? Are you a big yeah, football I mean, fan? I played, I played, I played, I played, I played football for nine years. I was actually representative. Oh. Um, yeah, I played reps. My my um uh when I stayed over went um overseas and played so. Um, in like a South Pacific Games over in like Fiji, so I could play. I played football, but um, oh. I stopped playing. I stopped playing okay. when I was sixteen. Um, so I haven't actually played football since I was sixteen. But I used to play six days a week, ten times a week. I double up in training and, and games because I was playing for school and school and then weekend and then reps and stuff. So yeah, I mean, I was um, yeah, I was big in, in football. So what, but, what got you? In, what got you into? What got you into boxing? And seriously, all jokes because you've done weightlifting, you football. Yeah. What got, what got you into the into the boxing then, girl? Well, I started martial arts when I was five. That was the first thing I ever did was oh, karate, yeah. and I and I did that, and I got my black belt when I was fourteen. Um, and I was very obviously everything I do, I'm pretty religious with. Um, my parents put me and my twin brother and my older brother in it when we were five. Or when I was five, my older brother was seven. And of course they quit after like it got hard and shit. Like and I just like pushed through it. And um yeah, I just obviously applied myself and I was with a really strict had a really strict um sensei and um it built so much discipline in me, like the shit that I had to do at the age and that like I, I kind of loved it, you know, and it wasn't easy. It's not like it wasn't like a kitty karate where you go and you just give you a fucking belt. Man, like I failed my gradings a few times because I, you know, couldn't do things. I couldn't break boards or I couldn't, you know what I mean? Like, so it taught me a lot of resilience and a lot of like pushing through and not quitting um, at a young age. And then when I got into high school and I was like black belt, like, but I was like, no, I want to like fucking like, I want to back, like I want some suit. Cause I was doing like, you know, like when we did tournaments and stuff, it was like semi-contact cause I was young and it was yeah. karate. Like we still had to wear the pads and stuff, but I'm like, I just want to like, get more aggressive so then I went into kickboxing um obviously because karate is kicking as well so kickboxing kind of was more suitable for me um yeah, yeah. and um and it was more of a female thing there was, there was no one did boxing no girls did boxing it was actually illegal here anyways to fight which I didn't realize when I started it um but then I realized that we couldn't even fight um so then I just trained most of my teens in kickboxing Muay Thai and then um yeah and then I was like well why do I keep doing this when I can't even compete in it. And then, um, yeah, I just 
what can I do? And I went into bodybuilding. And then after I achieved everything in bodybuilding, I was like, okay, what do I really actually like doing? Because I didn't really like bodybuilding. I was just really fucking good at it. And it was just a discipline thing, you know what I mean? Just um, I just liked winning. I just liked yeah. winning and I kept winning. So I was like, this is, I'll just keep doing it. But then I got to a point where I'm like, man, I don't want to do this life. Like it's too hard. It's too much, man. Like you don't have, like, I can't even, I can't, I can't even start to explain to you what it's like doing bodybuilding and, and having the physique to win and what you have yeah. to go through to actually be the best. There's a difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can jump. Anyone can jump on stage. Anyone can jump on stage and get some muscles and kind of look all right to the normal person. But to yeah, actually yeah, be competitive, yeah. be competitive and win in figure, yeah. in in bodybuilding, like it's next level. Like I mean, and I did it. Like gave up my whole twenties. So then I was like, okay, what do I like doing? I like bashing things and punching people. And I've always been into combat sports. I'm a huge fan of everything combat. You know, like yeah, a yeah. boxing fan, a kickboxing fan since I was, you know, ten. So, I mean, it was just, it just, you know, and like I did the card gelling, it just was a natural transition, uh, progression mm-hmm. from me being five and breaking shit when I was five and six and seven to wanting to break shit when I'm 30. Like, it's, you know. <laughs> I bet yeah. it's still nervous though doing them bodybuilding poses on stage though. Eh? But it's still ner- But it's still nervous doing them bodybuilding poses on stage when you were doing them. Was it, were you quite nervous when you were doing them? Um, sometimes. Um, mm-hmm. A little bit, um, maybe like the first few times, but no, I was really quite confident um, because I knew I did everything that I could do to be my best and that's all I got to do. I got to go out there and go, What? there's nothing more for me to do. I couldn't do any more. I did everything perfect and if, if I don't win, then it's just there's someone better than me and there's nothing I can do about that because this is that I've done my best. And How so I went out there. How much did you win doing it? Sorry? How much did you win Evs, doing it? It's like money? No, not money, like trophies and stuff. Did you... Was oh, there like yeah, a level yeah. that you got to? Yeah, I got nationals. Um, I got um, I did international comps. I, I got third. And yeah, I right. placed the highest internationally. I placed with third. Um, I've won regional. I mean, state. Um, about three regional state. I've won overall t- titles, which is overall is like the winner of all the winners on the day. Like, um, yeah. I mean, I went all the way, and I got to a point where, um, pretty much, I got to a point where I was winning all the natural because I competed naturally. I was winning, smashing all the natural comps and um, I went into a non-natural comp naturally three weeks after I've just done a um, done an international natural competition and or three weeks before was it three weeks before no it was three weeks after um, and I placed second in that and you know these girls are pretty much on on steroids and um and I had to look around and I thought you know I, I don't want to for me to go next level and get more competitive in this, I, I would have to take things. And I just didn't want to do that to my face or my body. Mm-hmm. And I thought, I've just, I've done so many comps. I've won like, you know, nine comps. I've, I've done so much. And it's, I've been doing this for like eight, nine years. I'm like, is it really, like, do I really need to do that? Do I really want to look like that? Like, I mean, it just got to a point where I'm like, I don't love it that much where um, I want to take it that level, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was kind of yeah. the, that was kind of the turning point. Oh, and I was really happy. I was really I thought I can't believe I've just placed second in a non in a in like a non drug tested competition. Like I mean, I've just placed second against all these girls that are probably juicing hard. They look like men, you know what I mean? Like, and I for me that was amazing. I was like, I don't need more than that. Like I'm happy. I, I win all those other ones. I come second here. Like I'm happy with that. I, I don't want to now, you know, do what what, hap- what happens next. I just wasn't interested, you know. So um, yeah, and then I just obviously went on to, to boxing. So yeah, so no, that's that's. You've done. You've 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 sound like you've had a real colourful mm. career in everything now. Yeah, yeah. Everything I do, I do, I do hundred percent. And 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 me, me and you've engaged on Twitter and and, and everything about. Mm. It. So we'll go back to the boxing. You know, we've talked all about. You're probably getting pissed off talking about Rachel Ball and. Oh, sorry. You know, I, I'd rather talk about Rachel Ball than Shannon Corney. No, I know, but you probably do, right? I've, so I'm gonna I've I'm been, gonna yeah. I'm gonna flip it a little bit, right? So. What's the best you you've been to many fights live? What's the best fight you've seen live? Uh, so you got your thinking. Depends. Right? Yeah, but it depends on like it depends on like like fight or like atmosphere. You know what I mean? Because I've been some fucking epic fights here in Australia. Yeah. Um like Reynold Quillen versus um Damian Hooper was insane fight. Yeah. But I would say, like, atmosphere, Fury Wilder, too. Oh, because you were, yeah, you're at that fight. You're at that oh, fight. Oh, Fury. It's actually the anniversary today. It's actually the anniversary today. If wow. I'm, if I'm, is, 
No, it's not. Not Fury Wilder 2. Fury Wilder 2 was in February 22nd or 20th. Was, was, I'm, didn't they fight in December, the first fight? Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, the first fight, maybe. Yeah, the first fight, but the second, well, the yeah. second fight was February. I'm talking about the second fight. I was at the second fight. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, the second, and the been, second fight. That might have been something else, man. The second fight was December, it was February 20th. Yeah. Because I was in America point. for my yeah. fight. My fight was February 8th, and I came home from America February 10th. And then I sat around at home and I was like, you know what, I need to go to this fight. So then on, on February on, on February 19th, the day before the fight, I was like, you know what, fuck this, I'm just going to book my fucking tickets and I'm going to go to, I'm going to fly out tomorrow. And I flew out of Australia, <laughs> sat, I flew out of, I booked my tickets Friday night. And I flew out of Australia Saturday morning. And because of the time difference, I ended up getting to, to the fights at Saturday lunchtime. So I had two hours mm -hmm. to get my shit together and go to the fights. Yeah, it was crazy. And then I flew home on Monday. <laughs> but I'd just right. been to America. You know yeah. what I mean? And I'd been, and before my fight um, in February, I was in America in, in December for um, Hogan, Hogan Charlo. I was there for that. Um, yeah. And yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that, that was a good fight. That was a good fight. So yeah. yeah, it was a good fight. I mean, Hogan just um in, in the wrong weight class, but um, you know, yeah, it was good. No, that's that's Parker. So all right, and what's the best fight you've actually seen on YouTube or whatever? Classics. We've, oh, we've done all the classics. Oh, fuck. Come on. Yeah, fucking... Give me a couple. I can't. Come on. I can't okay, I'll give you a couple. I'll give you a couple. Come on. <sighs> okay. Well, my go-to is always like my I I I've, only because I watched about fifty times probably Corrales Castillo. Oh yes. Oh yes. Um, the the I mean, third I've, one. I've the third one. Third one. The first, the first one. one. First fight. Yeah. First. First. Uh, no one. First. One. Was it one? They only had two fights. They only had two fights. Left two fights. I mean, one. Castillo Corrales had two I fights. Remember, the second I remember. Fight, the second, the second fight. fight Castillo come over one. Yeah. Come over one. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. But the first fight. Yeah. Gatty Ward. That's yeah, right. definitely Gatty Ward. Mm. Um, Gatty Ward. Um. Um, probably Barrera, Barrera, um, Morales won. Um, when you're a big, when you're a big Salvador Sanchez fan, did I, I read love that Salvador thing? Sanchez. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm not, I, I am a big fan of him, but I, um, I mean, I'm a fan of all the Mexicans. I've, I was just watching a bit of Sanchez earlier. I like Sanchez because he's, he's not like he is a typical Mexican, but he is, and he also boxes really well as well. So I do love Sanchez because he's just kind of everything. Um, I would say, um, I mean, I actually love, I, I love um, Provodnikov yes, and Bradley. Yeah, 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 love yeah, yeah, that yeah. fight. Awesome fight. I love awesome Bradley, fight. man. He's, Bradley's, um, he's unreal. Um, yeah. And I mean, the um, Chocolate Cheeto, I love Chocolate Cheeto. Yeah. Um, his fight that he had last year with, um, what's his name? Was last year was the beginning of the year? Because, because, because you know they 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 sent they sent our boy Yafai. As, yeah, as, Yafai. That was yeah. And Chocolate, I that. Chocolate and was supposed to be in, the name on his career. They yeah, Chocolate he stopped him in the. Finished. And he's not. He stopped. They stopped him. He stopped him in the seventh round, I think, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, beat him up. That was like beat a. That was well. yeah. That was. Yeah. Um, well, him versus uh, uh, Donair and Inyo. That was a good oh. one for me. I love Donair. Um, I mean, even Rigo and um, Donia was awesome. Um, yeah. I mean, it, you can't pick like, uh, I, I, you know, Duran, Duran, Sugar Ray, like the first good one, the second the spot, one, that so, 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 many, so, so, so many good fights, so many good fights. You know, There's so Sh many. Sh Sh Sugar Ray Leonard, um, Tommy Earns, Sugar Ray yeah. Leonard, Marvin Agler. Yep. And the good thing, good thing about them guys, they all fought one another back then. Nobody fought one another. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. Well, that's, girl... a about, that's a good thing about the girls boxing now. They're all fighting. That each other. was just about They're to fight... say that. Yeah, we all yeah. fight each other. Yeah. You know, you know, Ev, That's what I love about you. Like you all, you don't dodge one another. <laughs> well, we really don't have. Another. To be honest, we don't really have much of a choice. But I don't think we're so used to just saying yes to every. I mean, as long yeah. as the money's alright, we're saying yes to most things. That like, why not fight? You know, like, and plus with the girls. I don't know. I just feel like with the girls, it's not as um, it's not as bad if you if you lose. Look, all the top girls have had losses. Like it's not a, it's not really an issue. I think. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't care. I, I'm here to fight and have fun and bash people up. If I lose bashing someone up, then I don't care. <laughs> you, you, 
Yeah, yeah. Every, everyone, everyone, everyone's you know obsessed, what? Debs, with that own. That's the problem oh, in, in yeah. the men's All game. Know, the women, they just they let's get on with it. Mm. All I know is that if you're gonna beat me, it's gonna be one fucking hard time beating me. Like I'm, gonna, I'm a bit like a Sean <laughs> Porter. Like, like you're gonna go to hell trying to beat me. But if you beat mm. me, like it's gonna be the hardest fight ever. And like that's cool. I'm cool with that. You know, because I'm not gonna give you an easy fight no matter what. You know, and 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 if you beat me, then sweet. Yes, you know what? I lo- you know what I always say though, and people don't want to lose, but it's always good to lose because they learn from it. So oh, losing 100%. doesn't well, make you. Enough, you- if, if 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 you're smart, you you learn from it. If you're you know a proper yeah. champion and if you learn from it, and and that's you see right. that all that's the time, right. heaps that's of people right. learn and come back, especially if they lose mm. earlier in their career. You know, um, mm. it's definitely when you lose later on in your career, it's kind of you know it's a bit different. Yeah. But um, that's earlier right. on in your career, it's not a big mm. thing. You know, and, and if the, anything, um, it will definitely make you better. I mean, like, look, um, at, look at look at Terry Harper. Not that she lost, she didn't lose that fight. It was a draw. But yeah. that tough fight against um the, against Jonas, look how much sharper she came back and improvements mm-hmm. with the defense and just you know yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like it was much, yeah. you know, um, yeah. But that's why yeah. it's important to have fight. That's why it's important to have experience. But and that's why yeah. I want to just fight because I've had like four fights, but I'm ready to step up and I want to step up because I want to get better. I'm not sitting yeah. around like fucking getting better fighting you know nobodies and and stuff mm-hmm. and like. Um, you know, my last fight was a good learning fight. She was really, really experienced. You know, she beat him with nine more champions. She'd been around for a long time. Yeah. So it was still mm-hmm. a step up, you know. Her record might not be great, but you compare her record to the good the good girls yeah, and Aussies yeah. in Australia and she's still be better than them. You know what I mean? Like, it's still better. So yeah, Sometimes yeah. records don't mean everything. It like. don't no. mean nothing. No. Don't you, mean go, nothing. You, go, you, go, you go back to Harper, look at look at Natasha Jonas. She 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 got stopped by... Yeah. by um, by the by, the young lady. Well, you I look mean, at yeah. Or, I mean, or, 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 or. you look at you look at Harper's first five six fights. She only stepped up like one like she had one step she had one real like step up fight and then fought for a world title. And now she's do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, but, you know, like they forget that hey, she had five five you know fights that were kind of like you know, and and that's why like when people are giving shit to like even Shannon Courtney, you know, like I mean she's only had five fights. Mm-hmm. That's no, right. Like, what do you that's expect? Right. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Totally agree. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't put shit on no one for, for their records, really, because I understand what it's about. Um, and you can't mm. underestimate people. I mean, you, you just, you have some people that are clear dodgers and you're clear, yeah, no, that's no, clear. No, no, you can no. usually, you can usually tell, but, you know, especially prospects and stuff, like, you know, you got to be smart as well. It's, it's business. Mm-hmm. <clears> and you want to take... Find, do, you, do you find yourself analysing fights more than actually watching them, if, if that makes sense? Like yeah, fan definitely. Would watch it? Yeah, definitely. I yeah. Mean, uh, do, you know, do, you know, do you know what... Ed? But usually, actually, usually the first time I watch the fights, I'm more of a fan watching it, and then when I go back and watch it the second time, I analyse it, it. Because sometimes I'll watch a fight as a fan, and I'll be like, how the fuck did they score it like that? Like, yeah. And then yeah. I'll watch it's it back, and I'll, and I'll watch it, and I'll watch it back without the emotion, and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, because oh. yeah. On Saturday, there, there was a fight. Mm. Um, it was a uh, Daniel Dubois v Joel yeah, Joyce. Yeah. Did you watch that fight by any chance? Yeah, I did. Yeah. And did I mean, you... I was dozing. I was dozing off in and out, but yeah, uh, yeah I was. Tr- I tried to watch it. Was you that know, because Joe Joyce made you sleepy? Oh, uh, no, do you know what? No, no, no. I used to, I obviously, obviously I, read, I used to rate Triple D or D- Daniel when he first turned pro. Um, mm. I was like, wow, look at this kid, like you know. Um, but I just feel like he hasn't, like he hasn't developed. Like what if he has? He's like, I just have watched. And I thought by now, like, like. I mean, and I haven't. To, to be fair, I haven't seen a lot of Joe Joyce. Um, Joe Joyce. I haven't seen a lot of him, but I have seen. Um, Daniel and I was actually more excited to watch him, and I was just like, mm-hmm. like yeah, what? But, it, like, yeah. You know, but, you know what? But, taking that, taking that knee the way he did, right? Could have well saved, maybe saved oh, his vision. I, saved I, his I, have, I have nothing what against that. I, think he, I honestly on, think on Twitter calling I, him a quitter yeah. and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, um, um, I think like I think he did the right thing. Um, yeah, I definitely. mean, I, I, to be honest, he did the smart thing. That's to be it. honest, and and I'll say it, I, I wouldn't have done it because I'm too much fucking no quit in me and too mm. much ego. I, I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to do it. But sometimes mm. doing that was smart of him, you know. And I know a lot of fighters that probably look back and maybe their careers have been ended because they didn't 
stop or whatever, they probably thought, I wish I just fucking quit. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I just, I have nothing against it at all. He could not see. And his mm -hmm. corner wasn't doing shit. His corner was fucking giving no. him shit. No. Oh, my so God. It's not even I don't know. Like, what know. the hell? You know. stay, com yeah, stay composed. Know. The guy is composed. He's not fucking doing anything. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, like, uh, you know, it's not like he's going wild and being out of control. He's composed. Mm -hmm. He's just can't fucking see. Like, what the hell? Like, how can I mean, I'm more angry at the corner. Like, I feel sorry yeah. that Daniel had to pull the pin. It's not his job, really. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. it's, you know, I mean, did the ref even look at the eye? Like, I don't. I don't no, know because I, I wasn't watching it. I wasn't watching it one hundred percent, but I don't think you know. I, I, I take my hat off to to Daniel because because he would have thought about that for a bit because mm. he would have known the repercussions from doing that. Mm. Um, and you could tell he didn't want to fight. You could tell in that round beforehand he just wasn't interested. The way he was in the corner, the way he came out, like he just. I think I even tweeted, Daniel does not want to be there. And you could mm. tell he didn't want to be there. And it was probably because he couldn't see, like, and he's eating no, so many jabs because you can't fucking see out of your eye. Like, I mean, like, yeah. I mean, when you think about it, it was probably a good job that he did take the knee because he had a, a fractured eye socket anyway. Yeah. So that was probably yeah, a good knows, thing for him sitting like, down and, and taking knows, a knee. He would have he felt it. He knows what it feels like. He probably knew, like, he probably getting stuck. It was sharp. You can't say that. Yeah. Adrenaline doesn't cover everything. Mm -hmm. I've snapped my ankle. Trust me. I still yep. felt my fucking snapped ankle when I, everyone's like, adrenaline. I'm like, no, it's, you can still feel it. Like, you know, it's not like all of us, like, it's not like you're numb. Um, it's I think, it. yeah, I think well, I, 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 I respect him for it. Um, and I would never, um, never put him down or put another fighter down really if unless it was a clear quit like uh, no, 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 no. Chavez yeah. Jr. quit mm. yeah 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 I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. I mean yeah, with, yeah. The, with, with, with the Dubois fight you know the thing is if his eye is alright he's only a young kid really being 22 yeah, and he can, he, can come, he can come back he'll come back that could be he the best thing that's ever happened to him see. you know hopefully he can come back I mean look at you know um, Kel, Kel Brook is it um, yeah and then, and then look at even Abner Mares, um, Mare, he's, he had the eyes and he hasn't come back. Like, I mean, it's just, it's a really tough injury to come back from. It mentally really tough, is oh, mentally tough, mm. mentally tough. Mm. And it's just always weak. Like I know I had a friend yeah. here that had a fractured eye socket. And I mean, it took him a couple of years to, to get back from it. Like, because every little, like it was just so easily damaged again. Um, Oh no, yeah. he had a retina. Sorry, my bad. Sorry, he had a retina, a detached retina. That's I think that's game over, detached retinas. But um, oh, Frank, Frank, yeah. Bruno, Frank Bruno retired because of a detached retina. Big Frank, he retired. Yeah, of, yeah. I think yeah. that yeah, that's the end of a career. Thing. I, think, Sorry, I, think, I, I think even Julian Jackson had trouble with his retina. You know, he did. Think, mm. He did. Right. He so did. Eb, Ebs, talking of the weekend's fighting, did you watch um, Mike Tyson and Roy Jones? Of course, <laughs> mate. I can't believe. I actually, I actually can't believe how much my heart was racing every time I saw Tyson do his little, I thought, oh my yeah, God, here yeah, we go, yeah, yeah. here we go. I yeah. was like, I couldn't believe it. I have not been that excited <clears> over a heavyweight <throat> fight. And I wasn't even like a real, I'm so happy they weren't wearing headgear because if they were wearing headgear, like it wouldn't have been as exciting. No, 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 but no, I was no, a bit disappointed. No, no. I was a bit disappointed with Roy Jones. It was like, he didn't want to be there. And I was like, come on, man. Like Tyson hasn't fought 15 years. Like he's probably, if that was me and I'm, cause I'm mm. a bit like Tyson, like I want to fucking, fucking hurt people and I'm yeah. like this guy's not letting me punch him like and I haven't fought for 15 years like just let me punch you like or like <laughs> fight stop holding me you know I, I mean? won that fight and in my opinion oh, <laughs> oh easy yeah <laughs> but but no matter what it was always going to be a draw because it's exhibition like I mean they, they want to like G up the crowd and G up the audience but you know that was good to see him back though it's good to see him yeah. back. Oh, man, I hope he does it again. Like, oh, he hasn't changed. Like, he was still so explosive and he was – and, like, I mean, he still had the power. Like, and he was serious, like, mm. focused. And I was just – yeah, I was like, this is fucking sick. Like, what, I mean, I, it was sick. What I did what I did think after watching Tyson fight, I realised he can probably go in the ring and compete with good professionals and win is what I saw after seeing that display. I was, maybe not the top, maybe. In, I was thinking not of the getting the gloves back on. Oh, if you're oh, thinking no, of putting no. the gloves on, didn't you? No, no, no. no. My, <laughs> my career ended 15 years, 16 years ago. Right? So did Tyson. So did Tyson. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe not the, maybe not the, maybe not the top five, but maybe. No, not the top one, but certain level but, fighters. But, I think he could give a good yeah, fight. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I think he fucking smashed Joy 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 uh, Joy Joyce. I think he's. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I think like he, yeah. <laughs> 
I would love to. I'd love. I just want to see him back in there. I don't give a fuck. Like, let him fight. Like, fuck all these people saying he's too old and shit. Fuck you. Shut up. Let, let us be entertained. He's all right. Like, <laughs> he's doing it because he loves it. Let him. Let him do what he loves. You know what I mean? Like, and if he loves doing that, like, don't stop people. Like, you know, like as long as it's and and you know if he's doing these exhibition things where it's a little bit uh, more controlled environment. I mean. They were holding, they were pulling the punch. He looked like he was pulling his punches a little bit at times um, yeah. on Roy. But Roy does not want to be there. Like, he, he, you know, even no, after no. you could say, like, it's different, yeah. you know, and, yeah. I'll say, I'll say uh, Ebsy was really hurt, you know. I think he, the punches really hurt him. And after yeah. feeling tight and punchy, he thought, oh, I don't want no more of this. I think that's what no, it was. No, 100%. You know? and, and 100%. when you think about and it, he, uh, he'd have proper heavyweight in the Tyson, where it Roy yeah. and, and he heavyweight. Fat. That's it. No, but you're right. It was. If yeah. you look at both of them, yeah. uh, Tyson looking great shape, but Roy never did he? He didn't look in very good shape. Mm. Roy didn't look in very good shape at all. Yeah, so yeah, I was going to say, I, um, Tyson apparently earned $13.5 million and he donated it to charity. What a man. Well, yeah, he's a legend, man. Like, And you can tell how... I love Tyson. You can, love tell, you, you can, just, you can just tell how he is. And like, even his post-fight thing, he's just such a different man now. He's just so oh, um, empowered. He so just wants to change the world and inspire people and give back. Um, and and he's so positive and like happy and like I love that shit. You know, he's a good guy. So yeah, I love to see him in it doing it more. Similar and to I just you, love you're, what you're, you're a positive, positive uh, woman, and uh, you know we we've loved interviewing you today. But just gonna sort of leave it on on this note. What what's the next twelve months look like for you? Like ideal. Yeah. Ideal in a, in a in a COVID free world, Ebs. Even yeah, I mean, ideally, because <laughs> I, I, you know you don't know. Ideally, I want to be, I want to have at least five fights, because I should be having at least five fights a year. The only reason I haven't is because my first fight in 2019, I snapped my ankle, which put me out for eight months. So there goes that fucking year. I then just want to say, mm-hmm. carry on, Ebs. Sorry. Yeah, and then this year I had a fight in February, and then COVID. So I mean, I should have fought a lot more. Um, the only thing that's stopping me is all these these setbacks, which I mean, in the end, have happened for a reason, and I'm I'm not um, I, I'm not regretting it at all because it's it's all helped me. But I do want to fight, and I'm just praying that that the universe of the God just lets me fight consistently next year. I just want to fight back to back, like man, I just want to keep fighting. I don't care. I don't need rest. I just want to punch people. I want to want to win. I want to entertain. I want to weigh in. I want to fucking you know. I want to do everything that comes with boxing. Everything. I'm not just. I'm not just boxing for the fight. I'm boxing for everything that comes with it. The entertaining, the talking, the 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 build ups, you know, the fans, everything. I love everything about it. Um and just being able to spread my my voice and my word and get my get my views out, which I think are pretty good fucking views that people should should live by, you know. Like I mean, you know, um I spread good I spread good good vibes and I think my mottos that I live by, I think if everyone was on that, they would just be just as just as 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 happy as I am, and 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 go lucky and lovey, like you know, because um, it's a it's a good way to live. Yeah, spot on. That's it. That. So, so I would like to fight five times next year. I would like to fight pretty much mainly in the UK um, because I plan on winning the, the world title fight um, um, against Eddie, whoever the fuck it's against. Eddie, Eddie, can you hear this? Eddie, can you hear this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like I feel like no matter what, who I'm going to fight for that fight, I'm going to win. And then um, I'd like to defend it a few times in the UK because that's where my fans are and the girls are there. That you got the girls in Europe there. Like this, it's it's good for me. And then I'd like to bring it back to Australia in the end of the year and defend it here in front of my Australian fans and and on a matching card. Hopefully Eddie's sorted that out in Australia by the end of next year. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much the way I the way I envision next year. And this year at the beginning of the year after that Tyson Fury fight, um, I envisioned I envisioned it and and said that I was going to get. UK fans, I'm going to fight in the UK, and it happened. So, I mean, if I'm talking about this, what's happening next year, it's going to happen because it's going to happen. I make shit, mm-hmm. I, I make shit happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, uh, you're going to say something, mate. Oh, I've, I've always talked. I've loved to Yeah, love. but when I was, yeah. talking, I was talking about yeah. last year and my ankle. Yeah, come on, off. Mm-hmm. Come on, off. Yeah, no, what, what I was going to say to Ebza, you know, like I was going to say, if you won the world title, will you travel a sort of travel? To different countries, or will you just stay in Australia and travel from Australia nah, fuck to it. UK? Backpacking, Yeah, I definitely want to stay. In I, I really do want to fight around the world. Um, mm. I have absolutely no problem travel. fighting in other countries. 
I know I've got a lot of fans in Poland. I've got fans mm-hmm. in Mexico. Um, I mean, I would fight. I'll fight anywhere. Um, I would love to spread the bomber, the blonde bomber around the world. Like that'd be sick, you know. Like I'd love to kick it off. Like, um, you know, I have absolutely no problem fighting in in other people's in other people's countries. I'm not scared of that shit. I'm not like, oh, you know, like I don't care, you know. So I plan on knocking everyone out anyway. Yeah, not you know, in, and sometimes that's a problem point. with people. They like to. They're too scared to travel and defend their titles, aren't they? They like to stay in their own backyard. Um, yeah, because they got the backyard advantage. But I yeah. honestly am too. Com- I'm too. Yeah. I'm not cocky, but I'm confident enough. Yeah. I'm confident enough, mm-hmm. and also I got. I, I want to live my life. Why should I restrict myself because I'm scared of of, of failure or I'm scared of losing? Yeah. Why should I restrict where I want to go? That's just you know letting fear hold me back. What fear of losing in another country? Fuck that. I don't. I don't focus on losing. I focus on winning and and, and the positives. So, yeah. I'll, wherever I go, I'm, I'm. Wherever I go, it's going to be success. Brilliant. Love that. Love that attitude. Yeah. Love that attitude. Me too. Um, yeah. Well, thanks for coming on the show, uh, Sports and Area Media. Uh, really appreciate now, your uh, attendance on this. And, yeah. yeah. Really I'm enjoyed chatting to you. I'm going to go on this one because the last time. I couldn't get on because my volume weren't working, so I was yeah, glad to I remember, be able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Good, to, good to see you and chat. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. Get some sleep now, girl. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, guys. Um, right. And, yeah, we'll chat soon anyways. Thanks for yeah, the support yeah, and the you. love, and I appreciate it. And today was great. Thank you. Yeah, thank good you, luck with the rest of your uh, recovery. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. You, I'm sure you'll start seeing some things soon. Cheers, yeah. Ebs. Uh, see you later, guys. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye.